Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, on my fourth cup of coffee, the brain is finally starting to kick in and uh, kind of getting that red flag in my mind that I need to give you guys a heads up. Now, I just spent the last 30 minutes looking for information to back up what I was going to tell you. A couple of years ago, I put out a video. It was in relation to chasing Al-Qaeda. And in that video, which was on a YouTube channel that no longer exists, nor do I have that video to show you, um, I found information saying that the Hamas was about 60 miles over the border in Mexico, from uh, about 60 miles from California uh, and or Texas. Um, which raises a red flag to me because back then I was pissed off that we're tromping all over the globe uh, to chase bin Laden and we can't find him and Al-Qaeda compared to Hamas is like taking your little league team and putting them up against the New York Yankees okay Hamas is better funded uh, more organized um, a lot stronger than Al-Qaeda has ever been anyway I did find uh, this one link I've spent 30 minutes looking for information on this, and because of all the shit that's going on now, you can't, okay, you went to the Wayback Machine, can't find anything. But I did find this, um, where uh, Rick Perry is uh, warned viewers of CNN's Republican debate that Hamas and Hezbollah are working out of Mexico. Uh, why is that important now? Okay, kudos to the people of Texas. Don't get this next statement twisted. But we have, th there's a very good possibility that Texas will secede, okay? They have the signatures, they have the power, they have the constitutional right, they got their ducks in a row, and the people are in, of Texas are ready for it. Kudos to them. But this is what I see. As soon as that happens, the f all the federal funding that protects our borders from Mexico in Texas is going to be gone. Th they'll have to pull them out. And, and I don't know, because I'm not in Texas, I don't know if the people of Texas are able to protect that border. Okay? Um, now, we're going to side with Israel. I, I don't really want to side with either Israel or Hamas. You're both fucking killers, and we have people to feed in our own country, goddammit. So I'm not siding with either one. I'm seeing an error. An error in judgment. I, I'm seeing an equation put together that people are only using a few of the digits, and the answer they come up with is going to be fatal. Texas secedes. We side with Israel. Hamas comes over the uh, Mexican border into Texas. You're starting to see why maybe some of those FEMA camps are there. Uh, uh, are we ready to handle this? Before you jump on the fucking bandwagon, and, and side with Israel because they're God's chosen people. Remember, they are, at this moment, a corporation just like the one you're subjected to. Subject to, rather. Okay? Um, we're, you know, for years now, I, I've encouraged people to don't worry about stocking up on guns. You, you know, we got bigger fish to fry and we, we can't kill anybody. And with these sudden turns of events, I do recommend that anyone and everyone that is able to buy any form of a firearm that's comfortable for them that they should do so and they should buy as much as their budget would allow I don't recommend you tell anybody about it I, I recommend you finding ways that they're not gonna don't run into Walmart and buy every gun that's on the shelf okay uh, pick and choose travel to get them buy in cash where possible flea markets gun shows other places uh, you know, and I would even recommend buying a weapon off the street, um, not to promote uh, illegal activity, but so that you aren't on a list, because you will be. But we've, we've got to do something, P people. The, the whole planet is falling apart. And although I don't advocate killing people, I do advocate that if you put your fucking hands on me, or you intend to harm me, I will probably take your life, and I think 
that many Americans are soon to be in a position where they're either going to have to take a life or give their life. So uh, that's not fair to a child. As a mother or a father, you have a responsibility to protect that child. As for me, I don't really care if anybody kills me. I've always been provided for. My family's always been provided for uh, to our basic needs. So I don't have that fear. But we do have a responsibility to our children. And let me tell you something. You come anywhere near my kids thinking that you're going to harm them, and all hell is going to break loose. Uh, all hell is going to break loose. This is a pivotal moment, folks. I'll link you to this post below uh, again. Uh, this is just a theory, something that I see very, very possible. To the people of Texas, kudos, much love. You have my support and the support of uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, um, along with all the other states, all of them that have filed petitions. But they, again, those petitions are filed by the people, not the governors. So I don't know where this is going to go. But I know that Texas has the strength, the size, and the signatures to secede. What I don't know is if they're able to protect the border. And, and we're not just talking about, uh, you know, some illegal aliens coming over the border for work. We're talking about Mexican cartel. We're talking about Hezbollah. We're talking about Hamas right next to our borders. So think about this, folks. And you people of Texas, please, big heads up. Keep doing what you're doing. Be your own people. But keep this in mind and get ready for a, a mass exodus out of Mexico when you secede and, and you're seen as a weak point to get in to the United States. We've made many enemies in the world, folks. Many enemies. Okay, on paper we have all kinds of friends. But as far as human beings, we're losing them every day. Much love. Many thanks. This one link will be below. Uh, if you know if it's this important to you and you find more information that shows uh, there is a map available folks of this Hamas headquarters just over the border in Mexico if somebody's able to find that please even if you email it to me anonymously I will put that out um, so that everybody sees what I'm trying to tell you much love many thanks see you soon